fish, 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 fish. Oh. Hey, it broke. Let's see what stuff we got. Oh, okay. We got puffer fish, bowl, leather boots, a water bottle, and a bone. Ah, eh, you know what? That's that's okay. Hello everyone and welcome to episode 3 of the 1.19 series. I am back here in the snowy valley and today I have some things planned. If I can remember. A barn. Ah, I forgot about this. Give me one second. Okay, more storage. So in today's episode, I am going to be building a barn because I have a horse and I have some chickens over in this hole. I said I wanted to put it right here, but I'm still trying to figure out how I want this area laid out. It would be nice to have it there, but I'm also thinking of making some greenhouses because I thought that would be really cool to have like a warm inside area that villagers could like work and give me food. And also because it's cold outside and snow is annoying. I guess what I could do is just get rid of this because I said I would and then I forgot. <laughs> and I do have a diamond pickaxe but I don't really have any enchantments yet. I do have a lot of bookshelves that I did steal from the villages so maybe I can make a little enchantment area somewhere. I may have to move out of my hobbit hole though because the storage in there whenever I was organizing, ugh, not good. Oh. Oh, that's so cool! We have a bucket of lava now. I don't know what I can use it for, but th that's pretty cool. Eh. If I clear out some snow, it looks like it's a little better. <laughs> Let me go ahead and- oh! <gasps> snow! Oh, I love snow. Snow is so pretty. Hold on, I could probably put my shaders on. Woof. This is BSL, but it's not for this version, so it might not turn out well, but let's see. It looks very gloomy. Hold on, I might have a better one. Playing with shaders is very pretty, but the snow is like, I, I guess it's pretty nice. I think it has a different animation for it, but it's kind of laggy. Anyways, it's very pretty and I love it. Sadly, shaders are going off because I don't know if my computer will explode or not. But now we have like this little entrance area, which makes it much easier to get into here without climbing over that little hump of dirt. And thankfully the snow will cover up all of this messy dirt. Now what I need to do is to get some more shovels because I need to collect a lot of glass. Okay, that should be enough. I know there was a beach area over that way, but there was a ocean monument there, and I don't really want to do that. Oh, you gave me something. Ooh, a feather. Oh, you find a chicken. You better not have found those chickens because I actually need those. I have a bed. Oh, I can use my steed. I can just put them in a hole, I guess, wherever I go. Come on, my new steed. And we shall go over to the beach area. Oh, my stuff is still there from episode one. That's kind of funny. Um, I think I'll just kill this entire hill, honestly. You have to stay right there. And now I gotta kill this entire sand hill. Okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think the sand was all the way over here and I literally killed this entire section. But I have a full inventory worth full of sand and sandstone and some cobblestone, which will help. And now we go back home. Whoa, okay. You know what I think I'll do is make a little heavy smelting area just so I can smelt a lot of things. Oh, I didn't even see that. Hi, phantom membrane. Okay, I'm okay with you giving me those. Those are good for elytra. I think I'll put this over here just because it's much better and easier to do that. I might even do it to where I can use lava to do it. Oh, there's diorite up there. I think I might go get some of that. Or go back up there in the cave and see if I can get something just to decorate this. But for right now, I think I'll just go ahead and shove a whole bunch of sand in here. There we go. 
I want to use these bars somewhere. I don't know where, but like maybe... Oh, if only I had one more. It would look cool if I could do something like that. I already have three stacks and one piece. Pretty sure it's just three pieces and then this. Yeah. Let's put it there. <laughs> Stay away from that. It is deadly. <laughs> For right now, I think I'll just do some fun thing like this. I don't really want to put wood in it because, you know, it's flammable. <laughs> <laughs> I have this, but I think I'll change it to deep slate once I get deep slate. Because I don't think I went that far whenever I was mining last. Let me see. There. Yeah. Just change it up a little bit. It'll look good. Ooh, this is so much glass. And that'll help with making the... I thought that was a person, but that was just a lamppost. Ooh, actually... No villager is down here anyways, and also this is just free lamp posts. And once I do get um, Silk Touch, I can pick up this blue ice and kind of texture it in so I can make like ice paths along the thing because I don't think this ice is ever going to melt because I'm in a very snowy biome. Oh, and I can put uh, one of these lanterns in the snow. Oh my gosh, I want to call it a globe again. Igloo! This is an igloo. <laughs> now that I have some lanterns, I'm going to put one right here. Get rid of these torches. And that looks so much better. And also I can put some right here and right here. Now I need to gather up a lot of wood. I already have a bunch right here, but it's only spruce. Now I might gather up a lot of different kinds of wood. Are you ready to go on another adventure? Oh yeah, you are. An adventure for wood! Oh, this mountain it, this mountain range is huge! There's a lot of spruce, and there is that up there. My goodness, it's scary looking. I could get a horn and sing from the mountaintops. I kind of want to do that. You get to stay in this hole. I promise I'll be okay. I know, it's dangerous. But you got to stay in here. Oh, hi. Oh, jeez. I made the realization. I have a bucket, but <laughs> I need to get rid of the effect before I go home. We're going in. I think I went around everybody. Oh, hey. You don't see me. Hey. Ha. Die. Woo. <gasps> oh, nothing good. Goat. Ah. As long as your banner guy doesn't come up here. Ooh. Ha. Oh, I don't have um, crossbows. Oh, there is there is dark oak, though. I'll take that. Is that one loaded? Hold on. Get a ball! Oh, this one's loaded. Bap! <laughs> Free achievement! I'm not dealing with the banner guy. Nope. Not doing it. Oh, no. Woo! I don't really need these now. I got to shoot him. That's all I wanted. Aha! He's dead! Thank you. Jeez. Oh my. Jeez. Ah, there's another! I am going as fast as I can on the ice right now. Ooh, ooh, no, no. How can you not see me? I'm a porcupine! I'm gonna escape. Please, I need to go back and get my horse. I think I outran them and I got an ominous banner. They do have bottles of enchanting though. Probably should have waited to use that. My horse. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, we gotta go. Well, that was fun. Oh, sweet berries. Come here. I do want to get on the mountain. Oh, oh, oh gosh. There's a lush cave down there. Oh, I like seeing this far. It's so cool. Oh, a village. Ow. <laughs> Hold on. Gotta get in the hole. Thank you. No, this is my bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. I forgot they have hay bales like that. I think I might take them. Oh, you got a compass. And some maps. Hello? Oh, you're a toolsmith? What? 
that's cool. I didn't know you had stuff. I'm taking all of these chests just so that I can make a big chest room in the future. <laughs> Hopefully, I can have that near where I want to make. I want to try and make a mega base because I've never made one before, but I do actually have a plan to make one. And it was for another world, but I think I could just change it to make it look like it fits in where, like, to the snow valley. I think we just need to go ahead and take all of this stuff back. Did some adventuring, and then I'll go back out and collect some different wood. Which I think I'll go this way instead of going through all of the trees. Oh, sorry. I will need a mule because they can carry stuff. And my inventory is always full. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, speaking of which, and there's another village? Huh. There are donkeys right here and I do have some chests. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have any leads. Okay, I'll keep these guys in mind, but I might drag one back. <laughs> because I could just keep my horse here and then go travel back with the donkey and get wood in the process. I'm taking some of these. Oh no, <laughs> there's a blacksmith. <gasps> oh, there's cats, there's black cats. I need to not be an F5. I think this game wants me to get a donkey. Fine, I'll go do it. Wait, I think it just gave me enough for an enchantment table. Huh. You, sir, go in here. I'll cover you up, but I will come back. Okie dokie. Now we gotta go and get ourselves a donkey. Oh, and you know what I could do? I can breed my horse and the donkey together and I can make a mule. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Since we didn't find any dark oak, I think I'll just mine this forest over here because that's where the igloo is and then my house is literally like in that valley over there. So I'll mine some trees in here after I drop my stuff off and then put it in the donkey, I can go and pick up my horse. Deforestation. I, I did deforestation. This whole area was once trees and now it's not. And now that I have some wood, I didn't even need the donkey for this. I think I'll head home now, now that I have enough wood. I think I'll mostly use oak wood and spruce, but I don't think I'll use much birch unless if I'm using the actual ones, the actual log that's not stripped because the actual wood planks is kind of yellow and it doesn't really go with the snow. I think that'll be enough to start building, but I just wanted to be able to have some saplings just as backups. And now comes the fun part. Zoomies! On the ice! I can't believe how fast you can actually go on the ice, it's insane. But this will help me get to the river, which should take me to the ocean. Woo! You see how fast? Huh, maybe I don't need horses. And I think while I'm over there, I might just chop down some big taiga trees just so then I have more wood of that so then I can start building the greenhouse and the barn because somebody has too many animals and doesn't know how to keep up with them all. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to be over there. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, sir. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come on. Follow me! Ah! Go after it, you won't. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. You gotta walk into the hole. There you go. Mm. Nothing like an arrow in the side to start the day. Ow. I have trapdoors here for a reason. There. Now. Drown. <laughs> Besides that incident, I'm done with the barn. So I didn't build the big top part because I realized that I couldn't actually use it. So it's kind of like we have a little horse stables here and then I decided to do some outdoor pens for all the different animals like pigs and sheep and cows. Also this area over here, 
I'm going to build a small little like chicken coop shack. That way I can do like a little four by four for like uh, with hoppers so then I could gather some eggs. You know what I can do? I can bring these guys over here. Actually, I think I'll take the whole fence away. I bet you guys are glad to- Oh, I'm sorry. At least I know that this works. Boop, boop, boop. And you're stuck. Well, not stuck, but you have a nice home. Away from outside. I didn't mean to poke you. You took half a heart. You're fine. You're a trooper. At least now I have a place to put all my animals. And you're going over here. You get the big one. Because that's what you deserve. And there we go. I really like this design. I know it's probably similar to other people's designs, but I tried to make it interesting in a way. And also, I love the cobble and the mossy cobble. I'm so glad I picked it up from the taiga over there. If we did have a mangrove nearby, I would have used the roots with the spruce, but also that kind of would have, it wouldn't have really gone very well with this. We need to find a mangrove forest sometime though. Okay, so now I need to make chicken house. Okay, I think I have it done. I kind of like it. It's a little tiny little house. I really like the style of the roofs touching the ground, kind of like this, which is actually going to be the design for the greenhouse. <laughs> I'm excited for it. I think the chickens will like it. One chicken, two chicken, three chicken. Where's the fourth? Sir, come here. Number four. Oh, I can't breed you guys. <laughs> Nope, nope, nope. That is a smidge of the downside, but that's okay. But now we got some eggs and don't mind the stairs. Oh, I gotta get these animals too. I almost forgot. There we go. Now we have sheep in this area, cows right here, pigs, and we have chickens in here. I think the barn is pretty successful. We even got some wheat growing. Now that I'm done messing with the barn, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the greenhouse. Ta-da! Look at it! It's huge! Mungo, and it already has snow on top of it. Yeah, this build took quite a lot longer than I thought it would, plus I've had a smidge of a break. <laughs> I haven't played on this world for literal weeks, but now I can finally do the part that I want to do. This part. So what I have in here, I'm going to till all of this because underneath this, there is a piece of water in the slab. Yes. Whenever I go into the nether, I can get shroom lights or something and put them on top here to light up each area so then I can have farmers work in here. But in here, I'm going to have a villager right here, use these four hoppers to have each on the rail, and then use some sort of trapdoor mechanism in the middle so then they can only interact with the villager in the middle and not the others. That's why there's this weird spiral pattern. Just so then each villager does not get distracted with each other. They can say hi through the glass, but they need to work. I actually had to go mining just to get enough iron to make these, so... Next episode, an iron farm is definitely needed. Hello? Oh, you're here. Thank goodness. There are only three of you guys, and one of you is a nitwit. What I think I'll do, I think I'll take all of you down one by one. <laughs> so sir, if you stay there, I will be right back momentarily. I did make some shears and bred up the animals a little bit while I was building. So that means I can get a lot of wool to make some beds. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa! No, no, no. How did that happen? How? Explain. Dude! What? The boat sank! But it sank into the ground was I was scared I was afraid that this man was gonna die oh, no. oh, okay 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 we're fine we're fine get in here <laughs> I hate villagers 
stairs! Is there a child? <gasps> Yay! We have life! <gasps> you have another child! But we do need some more farmers, which means I think I might have to go and make some more bread. But I'll be back with you guys whenever I put all of the villagers in the greenhouse. And there we go. A fully functional auto farm in a greenhouse. I each have different villagers in here. There's one for potatoes, wheat, carrots, and beetroot. And I think there should be some stuff down here. Uh-oh. I really hope that this actually worked. Do they need to have full inventories? I, th I think I might have to give it time just because this is not filled out. Well, that was it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed me building this greenhouse and this little barn. In between episodes, I'll AFK so then I can breed up the animals more and also make sure that this farm is actually working because if it isn't, uh-oh. <laughs> and in the next episode, I'll build some more wheat fields and make some, actually put some like bees in there just so then they can actually go in and make the crops go a little faster but that will be it for this episode i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>